you are live with the bow tie guy how's everybody doing today listen again i want to just thank everybody that has went to my youtube channel and subscribed thank for the love on facebook instagram it's not definitely appreciated as gomu power say subscribe 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 okay so listen Today, we are going to be talking to the ladies. Last time I was talking to the men, we were talking about confidence. Today, we're going to be talking to the ladies. I want to talk about I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? You know, that's a, that's, that's a jam. But you know what I don't understand? I don't understand why our culture is the only culture that promotes women being independent women doing everything by themselves women not needing men i have had conversations with plenty of women and i have never in my life heard other races speak in droves and volumes and the masses of i don't need a man i can do it by myself i don't need no help you open the door for a woman sometimes she look at you like you're crazy she give you an attitude they just we just have a thought process in our black culture that we just as women they want to do everything themselves they don't need no help you know and i've heard people say well it's because of the black men have done this and because men have done this and women have had to always do it this on their own and they've always had to you know be strong trust me i get it i'll speak about that on another podcast there'll be another episode as far as what our men need to do i definitely have spoke about it in the past but today we're going to speak about the accountability of the woman especially the black woman I don't understand how they have gravitated to the thought process if I can do everything by myself. I can do everything on my own. I do get it that there is a lot of cases and a lot of instances, you know, where men haven't stepped up and they're not stepping up and doing what they need to do. Those cases are in their favor. But there are a lot of cases where women have men that are in their life, that are stepping up, that are trying to do what they are trying need to do, that are doing what they need to do. There's all types of cases. And the woman still has this, I don't need you type mentality. I can do it on my own. In every, every other culture, they do and build together. Everything goes in twos. Everything was built to have a partner everything there's nothing that was built on this earth that was only built to just be by itself nothing the grass came from the dirt the trees came from the grass i mean a plug need a truck a doctor need a nurse every single thing that was built on this earth was built to function with something else but in our culture, we're the only culture that thinks that we were just built to function all by ourselves. If we go biblical, the Bible says man was not built to be alone. It ain't only speaking about man as a, you know, man. It's speaking as the humans. Humans were not built to be alone. I know we have experiences and we will rather sometimes be alone just because of our past or our traumas that we've had, you know, but I just don't understand it. Even in our black music, you know, we listen to our 90s music where they was, you know, I don't even want to say what they were saying, but we know what they was talking about and how they looked at the black woman. And it's like our culture has just really gravitated to, I don't need a man. I don't need a man for nothing. And I just think that it's just the, the, the weirdest thought process to me that you can go and you were built to be with somebody else, right? But then we like, I don't need no man. I don't need no partner. I can just do it by myself. And on any level, how you're looking at it, two is way better than one. If you're trying to buy a house, you're just trying to buy a house by yourself, it's, you can do it, but if you have a partner that can help out or they can pay the bills or whatever case may be in whatever capacity, that is something that can help out. If you're trying to do a project and you're trying to build something or you're trying to make something, you're trying to cook dinner, you can be cooking dinner great by yourself. But if you have a partner to come in to help wash those dishes after you can cook or whatever the case, it helps alleviate the extra stress off of your life on both sides. Women, I just want to say this. We as black men, we love y'all. I'm sorry that there's been black men that have definitely scarred y'all or fathers that have made y'all think this way or taught y'all a certain way or uncles or whatever the case may be. We love y'all. We want y'all to need us just like every other race. No other race says that they don't need that they're, they don't need their man. We're the only race that perpetuates that we don't need our women. We need y'all and y'all need us. So can we please come together? Because what I love to say, teamwork make the dream work. We gotta come together and make this thing better. Working together, that's what we need. That's what Frankie Beverly said. Working together, it'll make it all right. 
we got to come together and be a unit because at the end of the day nobody is better than us i don't care what anybody say when black people put their mind to something when we put our thought process to something nobody can take take it away from us nobody is better than us but we've stayed divided and we've stayed ununited if, that, if that's even a word i don't know but i'm just talking that it, we i know we have been divided our entire lives whether it be from slavery whether it be from jim crow whether it be whatever even now we're just divided so women love us need us men i'm gonna talk about y'all next time listen this is just one man's opinion this is just food for thought i want y'all to stay hungry be blessed and be a blessing you feel me